cloud that sees your eyes like me. Christ, who died and was raised by the glory of the Father, we welcome you. Grace, mercy, and peace be with you all. We meet this day to remember our loved ones, to renew our trust and confidence in Christ, and to pray that together we may be one in him, through whom we offer our praises to the Father. As a father cares for his children, so does the Lord care for those who fear him. For he knows, he himself knows where off we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone and its place shall know it no more but the merciful goodness of the lord endures forever on those whom fear him and his righteousness on children's children blessed are you lord our god lover of souls you uphold us in life and sustain us in death to you be glory and praise forever. For the darkness of this age is passing away as Christ, the bright and morning star, brings to his saints the light of life. As you give light to those in darkness who walk in the shadow of death, so remember in your kingdom, your faithful servants, 
that death may be for them the gate to life and to unending fellowship with you where with your saints you live and reign one in perfect union of love now and forever amen when peace like a river attendeth my way when sorrows like sea billows Whatever my life thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. It is well. O God, the maker and redeemer of all believers, grant the, to the faithful departed the unsearchable benefit of the passion of your son, that on the day of his appearing, they may be manifested as your children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verses 1 through 9. 
The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seemed to have died and their departure was thought to be a disaster and they're going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace. For though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them. And like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones, and he watches over his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 130. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to know what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you. Therefore, you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits for him. And his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord. More than watchmen for the morning. More than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, Wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With him there is a plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that they may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with the archangels calling with the sound of Lord's trumpet, will descend from heaven and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, Encourage one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen while you still can hear. Listen while you still can hear. 
A reading from the Gospel according to John, chapter 5, verses 24 to 27. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment, but has passed from death to life. Very truly, I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. 
and he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the son of man. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I speak to you this evening in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Like many people, as 2019 drew to a close, I was eager to ring in the new year. I couldn't wait to see what exciting things this new year 2020 would bring. But everywhere I turned, there was chatter about vision casting and dreaming and you know the usual typical resolutions that we all make at the beginning of the year you know we want to get in shape eat healthier but the excitement of a new year quickly turned to concern as news of a highly contagious virus captured our attention and as january rolled into march we quickly found ourselves in the state of quarantine as covid 19 quickly spread throughout our state, our nation, and the world. And now with two months left in the year, there are over 8.2 million reported cases of COVID-19 infections and over 220,000 deaths just in the United States alone. This is not what any one of us anticipated for 2020. And when you look at the numbers of the people who have died from this virus, and you add on to that all those who have died from any number of causes or circumstances, we are a nation that is grieving. We may not stop to think about it or we're not consciously aware of it, but we are a nation that is grieving. We're grieving the loss of what was life before COVID-19, we're grieving the loss of plans and dreams deferred. And we're grieving the loss of family members, friends, and coworkers. In our book of Common Prayer, the opening sentence in the second anthem of the burial service says, in the midst of life, we are in death. From whom can we seek help? From you alone, O Lord. In the midst of life, we are in death. But in the midst of grief and loss, our help comes from the Lord. So many of us across our deanery are grieving the deaths of loved ones right now, whether it's due to COVID-19 or other causes. And there are no right words to say to take away the pain that is felt. But what we can offer each other is encouragement, hope, and community. In his first letter to the Thessalonian Christians, Paul urges the believers to encourage one another with the words of hope and trust in God. And even as he ends his letter to them, he encourages them to pray without ceasing and to let God be their source of peace. Even in times of grief, we are reminded of the need to live in the presence of God. Even if it may not seem like it or feel like it, God is very present with us in these painful and difficult experiences. After all, God promised to never leave us nor forsake us. Deuteronomy 31 reminds us of this truth. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in times of distress. And friends, this, we are in very distressing times. But there's nothing that we experience in this life that God has not felt or doesn't understand. We may not understand why things happen the way they do or why this is a year that's filled with such loss and death and grief. But what we can rely on and have confidence in is the power and presence of God. Paul reminds us that we have hope in Christ Jesus, that we have an unwavering hope in Jesus 
who is the source from which we draw comfort and encouragement and faith in the face of loss. Jesus died and rose again. He was victorious over death. And this is what we as Christians believe. So death does not have the final say. For we know that our Redeemer lives and we are granted eternal life through him. Paul's words, not only to the Thessalonians, but to us as well, encourages, they encourage us that we should not grieve as those who have no hope, as those who don't believe in the promises of God. Yes, it's all right to mourn friends. It's all right to go through the emotions and feel all the feelings that come when we experience the death of loved ones. However, we shouldn't be so overcome by that grief that we lose hope in our savior. Then Christ's saving act on that cross would have been in vain. The death and resurrection of Jesus is a message of the truth that one may live with and one may die with. Jesus said that because he lives, we also shall live. He said, this is the will of my father that all who see the son and believe in him may have eternal life. And I will raise them up on the last day. That means there will be a reunion both a meeting with Christ and a meeting again with those who we have loved and lost only for a while. <clears throat> Paul says, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Those are powerful and encouraging words that we will be together with them. We won't miss out on that glad day and nor will they. Even the grave is but a temporary resting place for a body. We will be with the Lord forever. Think on these words. Those believers who are already dead and any of us who survive until that day of glory will be together with him forever. These are indeed bright thoughts for dark days. Because in this life, we're not immune to suffering. We're not immune to sorrow. So we need encouragement. We need comfort. We need prayer. We need to seek after God, who is our help. To call out to God, who hears our voice. And we need community. We need each other. Paul writes, encourage one another with these words. Because life is tough. The pressure is real and the grief, it hurts. And it's so easy to lose sight of the real hope there is. So that means we need every opportunity we can get to be encouraged by these wonderful truths. We need times like tonight to gather together, being in community, praying with each other, encouraging each other to keep our eyes on the hope that Jesus holds out to us. As Paul encouraged the Thessalonian Christians, may we too be encouraged as we navigate this life of pandemic, adjusting to life without many of our loved ones, that we are not alone. May we find that reassurance that God is our help, that God is our source, our way maker, our miracle worker, our healer and comforter. May we be reminded that we serve a risen savior who has promised to return. And we know that God always keeps God's promises. That those who have died with Christ will be raised and we will be together with them again. Friends, yes, grief will still come our way, but we have confidence because of Jesus. So we have no need to grieve as those who have no hope. Amen. You Christ are the King of glory. 
the eternal son of the father. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people bought with the price of your own blood and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Betty, Ed, Jack, Jane, Maurice, Roberta, Roma, Vaughn, Veronica, Virginia, Helen Alexander, 
Michelle Alexander, Samuel Elaine, Veronica Elaine. Doris Elaine Hall, Anna K. Anderson, Lester Anthony, Franklin Archer, Gregory Archer, Susan B., Victoria B. Glenn Baptist, Wendy Barrow, Florence Bates, Bunny Bent, Eton Bent, Mark Birthright, Tony Teresa Bosick Griffith, Stanton Bradshaw, Fiona Bramwell, Silas Brathwaite, Daphne Brown, Diane Brown, Aldwin Richardson Brown, Etta Burnett, Eldeka Callender, Byrell Cameron, Colleen Campbell, Carton Campbell, Clarice Campbell, Marjorie Jane Campbell, Siebert Campbell. Ralph Cargill, Lottie Carney, Ralph Carrington, Florence Cephas, Vincent Coleman, Arturo Condal, Hopeton Condal, Clinton Copeland, Cynthia Copeland, Sybil Copeland, Margaret Cordes, Kai Kathy Cousins. Douglas Craig, David Cran. David Cran, John Crosby, Carmen Cruz, Norma Cruz, Clive Cutress, Arthur Cummings, Barnes Cummings, Winston Daly, Josephine Davis, Theresa Davis, Charlie Davis, Dominic Davis, Domic de Blasio, Wayne Dempsey, Angela DeSong. Judith Decker, Ivel Dixon Rose, Evelyn Desant, Louise Dyer, Jim Ebanks, Pearlie Ebanks, Blaney Ebanks, Walter Edwards. Iris Ellis, Mary Ellis, Pearl Ellis, David Ellison, Kevin Avery, Neville Facey, the Johnny Falconer. George Finley, Isola Fleming, Cassandra Fletcher, Anthony Foster, Professor Fox, Linda Francis, Marjorie Franklin Adams, Alma Franklin Williams, Dave Ford. Raymond Fuller, Sheila Fabris, Roy Garvidon, John Garrison, Alfred Gale, Linville Ken Gale, 
Maurice Gayton. Thelma George, Blake Gibson, Gloriana Gibson, Yvonne Goldson, Yvonne Golson, Larry Gordon, Merrill Gordon, Angela Green, Dorothy Green, Brenda Griffith, Ian Griffith, Rory Aid Griffith, William Griffith, Diane Gurley, Yvette Renee Hall. Enid Hamblin, Peter Hamilton, Percy Haynes, Michael Headley, Margaret Headley, Minnie Hibbins, Tammy Hendricks, Louise Herman, Miriam Herndon 
Cotton, Linda Hearn, Ulysse Hines, Alan Hollingsworth, Beatrice Hollingsworth, Janet Hollingsworth, Denise Hudson, James Owen Hunt, Janet Cecilia Hunt, Ted Morris Hunt, Vita Jenny Hutchinson, Yvonne Eiffel, Thelma Isaacs, Mildred Jackson, Marlon Jacobs, Austin James, Mary James, Errol Jarrett, Mabel Jarrett, Marilyn Jean, James Jennings, Nancy Jensen, Gloria Johnson, James Johnson, Roy Johnson Jr., Florence Jones, Enid Josiah. Blair Kennedy, Kerwin King, Dervin Kincaid, Karen Lungain, John Loviscount, Lucy Ann Law, Lyndon Lee, Hyacinth Leslie, Linford Lewis, Victoria Lewis, Dudley Donson, Lyndon Lee, Hyacinth Leslie, Linford Lewis, Victoria Lewis, Laurent Lloyd, Janet Logan, Bianca Lord, Philip Lovejoy, Josiah Lowe, Larry Maje Kodunmi, Ola Re Waju Maju Kodunmi, Lloyd Malcolm, Don Morris, Vita Maynard, Glanis McDougall, Hilton McDowell, Rory McDowell, Gavin McGarrell, Lauren McIndo, Kiomi McKeaton, Carlton McKenzie, Dane McNeil, Ruby Mendez, Earlene Mendoza, Dr. Patrick Metzger, William Metzger Jr., George Miller.
Hans Paulson, Melvin Payne, the Right Reverend Geoffrey Curtis Ralph Pedal, Barry Pennycook, Roy Stone Perry, Ephraim Emmanuel Peters, Conwell Petty, Bridget Phillips, Dola Phillips, Felicia Pierce, Kim Pierce, Vivian Pierce, Andrew Pinder, Ranty Powell, Gloria P Prince, John Prince, Hilda Proctor, Gwendolyn Dolores Pruden, Paula Price Bremer, Joseph Pupa, Noel Rabsat, Jai Ramjas, Christopher Ramsey, Belise Reynolds, Heather Richardson, Eloise Richmond, Kenneth Ricketts, Malcolm Riley. Norma Rich, Bernice Rivers, Dulce Ruthbotten, Ashley Rogers, Dolores Marie Rogers, Claudia Rose, Victorine Ross, Simeon Russell, Dorothy Salter, Dorothy Slattery, Maud Sams, Alan Sampson, Ida Samuda, Evangelista Sanchez, Marlon Sawyer, Zitroy Scarlet, Amelia R. Scruton, Delroy Scott, Earl Scott, Gillian Seal, Alice Smeckin, Charles Sermons, Arthur Sherman, Mark Simmons, Steve Simon, and Vin Sinclair. Prouty, Jeanette, Evelyn, Skeet, Muriel Skeet, Terry Smalls, Morris Smith, Mabel Snugs, Blanche Sobers, John Sobers, Earl Sobakin, LaShawn Kamani Stafford, Cecil Stevens, Rolando Stewart, Patricia Tate, Walter Tanner, Eleanor Taylor, Kingsley Taylor. Beverly Telford, Beverly Thomas, Arlington Thompson, Nasri Thompson, Charles Thorpe, Winifred Tingling, Beatrice Tomlinson, Denise Tudor, Margot Turnquest, Obi Udoji, Jackie Venner, Andrea Walker, Andrew Waldman, Leon Watford, Paul Waugh, Alma Weeks Williams, Neil Welch, June Patsy Welters, Benny White, Narissa White, Valroy White, Ajana Wilkerson, Dottie Wilkie, Ayana Wilkinson, Daria Williams, Dion Williams, Janetta Williams, Lorraine Williams. Pauline Williams, Wendell Williams, Orange Gail Warrell, and Flora Wright.
Blair Kennedy, Kerwin King, Devron King Aid, John Leviscott, Lucy Ann Law, Dr. Noel Lawson, Dudley Lawson, Hear us, O oh merciful Father, as we remember and love those whom we have placed in your hands. Acknowledge, we pray, sheep of your own fold, lambs of your own flock, sinners of your own redeeming. Enfold them in the arms of your mercy, in the blessed rest of everlasting peace and in the glorious company of saints in light. Amen. The eternal God is your dwelling place and underneath our everlasting arms. Blessed is the Lord, our strength and our salvation. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit your chosen people together in one communion in the mystical body of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Give to your whole church in heaven and on earth, your light and your peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Grant that all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection may die to sin and rise to newness of life and that through the grave and gate of death, we may pass with him to our joyful resurrection. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Grant to us who are still in our pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith, that your Holy Spirit may lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Grant to your faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Grant to all who mourn a sure confidence in your loving care, that casting all their sorrow on you, they may know the consolation of your love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May we have strength to meet the days ahead in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those we love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Help us, we pray, in the midst of things we cannot understand, to believe and trust in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to life everlasting. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Grant us grace to entrust to those whom we remember to your never failing love, which sustain them in this life and fold them in the arms of your mercy and remember them according to the favor you bear for your people. Lord, hear us. 
Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Christ, our Redeemer, in the day of your coming, raise us up and set us at your right hand in the day when your greatness shall appear. Keep the living by your grace and give resurrection to the dead. We ask this in your name, O Lord, our resurrection and our life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. with the whole company of heaven. Let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Neither death nor life can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Thanks be to God. And I will now invite our Dean, Dean Foster, to say the greetings and welcome. And after Dean Foster, we will have our closing song. Good evening, friends. It's a joy that we can see each other to give God thanks for our dearly departed loved ones. Thank you to many of you who've joined tonight. Thank you for sending in the names. I know there are many other names that ought to be on the list that have not been sent in, but we certainly remember them and we give God thanks for their lives, work and witness. A special depth of gratitude to Mother Ellis and Mother Samuels for their hard work and dedication in putting this liturgy together. Thank you to the readers, the, lec the lectors, the intercessor, and all who participated to make this liturgy what it is. Certainly tonight, as we have given God thanks, because of the pandemic that we are in, we want to express our gratitude for all of you, not only for being on this call, but to your families and your loved ones who continue to grieve. We give thanks for those essential workers who have been there holding many hands as they take their final breath. And to many of you who have been with your loved ones as they transition, you certainly have been blessed with those holy moments. I'm sure my fellow clergy certainly give thanks for you, for your witness and your prayers. This liturgy is not the final hurrah for the year. On November 7th, we'll join again as a deanery to begin engaging in a racial reconciliation forum led by Mother Ellis and Mother Samuels. Help us to put together tools in our toolbox to begin a serious conversation within the deanery and about our common life. I pray that as many of you can join on November 7th, but also that we continue to be the church in this Jamaica deanery. Thank you, thank you, God bless you, God love you. And just know that all of the clergy do love each and every one of you as we journey with you into God's future. Thank you and have a blessed night. Father Foster, before we say the last song, I would be remiss if I didn't say a special thank you to Petra Jones, who put this PowerPoint together and has been conducting the Zoom service for us. I just want to say thank you to her and thank you for the hours she put in to this slide presentation. Thank you, Petra. You have been a blessing to us. Thank you.
friends, if any names were omitted, our sincere apologies. It was not our attempt to leave out any names, but we had over 300 names to be read tonight. So our sincere apologies. And I pray that you are not insulted or feeling as though we were leaving you out or leaving out your loved ones. Again, our apologies to all whose names may not have been read, their loved ones. Our sincere apologies. Thank you. Thank you and good night to all. Oh, yeah,